Um, Abigail? There was no girl in a purple dress. Um, yeah, there was. She was sitting right next to me the entire time. Ugh, I can't believe I didn't notice her until now. Abigail, she wasn't there. If I didn't see her, how could you have? She was there. I know she was. You just have to believe me. Ugh, let's just get back to class. We came out here for no reason. Ugh, Charlotte. Miss Morse, we're, um, back. Ugh, Charlotte. Whoa. Oh, there you are, girls. Um, Miss Morse, where is everyone? Oh, I told them that they could leave because no one was here. Anyways, Charlotte, you can go. But Abigail, I want to talk to you. Oh, um, okay then. <sighs> um, yes, Miss Morris? The book I told Charlotte to give you for your book report. Did you happen to read anything out loud? Um, why do you want to know? Because if you say yes, I can answer all of the questions that you have. Um, what questions exactly? <laughs> questions about things that might have happened to you recently since you read out loud something from the book. Okay, so maybe I did read something out loud, but why does it matter? And what spell did you read out loud exactly? Um... Uh, the daydream spell. Oh, no. Um, is um, something wrong, Miss Morse? Abigail, what happened after you read the spell? Um, I don't really know. All I can remember is waking up in my bed. Abigail, I need to know, please. Tell me anything that you can remember. I have to know. I can't remember anything, honest. I read the spell and then everything went blank, and then I woke up in my bed after a bad dream. Oh no, this is bad. This is very, very bad. Abigail, what was in your dream? Nothing, but there was a girl, and she was wearing a purple dress. She snuck up behind me and... She seemed to be nice, but then she disappeared, and then I started to choke, and I turned around, and it was her that was choking me, and then I fainted, and then I woke up. Huh. Eris. Um, who's Eris? She's the girl you saw, and she's out to get you.